So it's 2023 and you've probably noticed that there has been an influx of over-ear wireless noise cancelling headphones all over on TikTok, Instagram and on YouTube. But is it really that worth investing in one? Well, don't buy one just yet and let me share with you my thought process into how I decided into upgrading my headphones to a pair of Sony XM5, so stick around. So for a little bit of background, I bought my Bose QC35 II's in 2020, so they're almost 3 years old now. I used them a lot when I was in university, but now I mainly use them for music, for studying, exercising, and also for editing YouTube videos. It gets the job done, but after a year, I noticed that the audio started playing up, and it can be a pain connecting it between my laptop, iPad, and iPhone via Bluetooth as it turns off sometimes. So I decided that I should get an upgrade. I'm spending over $400 on a pair of headphones is a significant investment so I wanted to do some research to find out which headphones best suited my lifestyle, aesthetic and budget. Now when it comes to noise cancelling headphones, six brands kept popping up, Sony, Apple, Bose, Sennheiser, Soundcore and Technics. The first step in my buying process was to visit every tech store to try on different types of headphones they had on offer. This was particularly important to me as I discovered that the Sony headphones were were too large for my head even when it was set at the smallest setting so this was a deal breaker for me so I had to eliminate them early on in the competition. I had the Bose QC35 twos, so I knew that the fit was great. The Bose QC45 was no different but the Bose 700's fit and headband however were questionable. I tried on the Sony XM5's and found them the most comfortable with the sliding headband mechanism providing a perfect fit for my head. The Technics EA100 was surprisingly comfortable with its plush ear covers, however it was relatively heavier than its competitors so keep that in mind. Was I a fan of its overall look? I guess it was so-so and it depends on your style. Unfortunately, there were no Soundcore, Sennheiser or Apple AirPod Maxes to try out in store so I just had to rely on online reviews for those. Now let's talk about the price. Bose and Sony are similarly priced, so expect to splurge around 400 to 600 New Zealand dollars for it. Technics you can find on sale for only 397 NZD. Its music quality was also on par to the Sony's, I believe. So if budget is a factor, Technics is definitely the good choice. Sennheiser and Soundcore were budget-friendly options also, but the most expensive one was the Apple AirPods Max. Here in New Zealand, they cost around $999 which makes me want to rule it out completely. If you are unable to try the headphones on in store, I highly recommend watching a variety of video reviews on YouTube to help you decide which one is right for you. Don't just rely on random TikTok reviews and comments as they may not be that reliable. I suggest watching This Is Tech Today on YouTube as he provides the best in-depth reviews including very accurate sound and mic tests. His videos are actually what convinced me into getting the Sony XM5s. So without further ado, let's unbox my new headphones. At first glance, the case is larger and thicker than my Bose headphones case since the headphones don't fold. However, I don't mind this as it is relatively flat, which means it can fit into my tote bag and backpack without issue. The inside is also pretty minimalistic with a magnetic flap containing a USB to USB-C charging cable and a 3.5 audio cable. It charges quickly and allows you to connect to devices without Bluetooth. It also connects to computers to charge or use as a headset.
What I like most about the XM5s is its intuitive touch controls that allows you to easily control your music and calls with a simple swipe or tap. I absolutely love the quick attention mode which will lower the volume of the headphones to hear your surroundings by putting your hand over the right ear cup. You can easily connect the XM5s via Bluetooth but I recommend downloading the Sony Music Connect app as you can customize the EQ settings and adjust the strength of the noise cancellation and ambient noise settings. Additionally, you can also access the adaptive sound control feature which automatically adjusts the sound settings based on your environment and activity. I prefer focusing on the voices if I I'm on the ambient noise feature. My first impressions of the XM5 sound quality is really good. The bass was exceptional, but it could sometimes overpower the vocals and make everything sound muffled. To fix this, I suggest playing songs that you listen to most frequently and adjust the equalizer according to your taste. Now I'm no audio expert, but based on my preference and watching a few autophile YouTubers, I came up with two custom settings. I prefer custom one, but what do you think? I can't get it out of my mind You know I think about it all the time The way you move, baby, you're so After watching about probably 100 video reviews and testing the different types of headphones in store, I definitely found that the Sony XM5s had the best combinations of features and value. The Sony XM5s had the best fitting headband with a sliding mechanism that allowed for a perfect fit. Although Sony and Bose were similarly priced, the XM5s provided better value for the money due to its custom EQ capabilities, touch controls, and adaptive sound control features. So would I actually recommend these headphones? definitely however it's important to do your own research and try each one out in store to determine which one best fits your style budget and lifestyle thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video